Hi everyone, this week we're comparing the 2015 HSV Senator with the 2015 Volvo S60 Polestar. It's not a conventional comparison, but these two do battle it out in the V8 supercar series in Australia. So the HSV comes with a 6.2 litre naturally aspirated V8 producing 340 kilowatts and 570 newton metres. And then from Sweden, uh, Polestar is Volvo's official motorsport partner and they've uh, completely overhauled the S60. So it's got huge Polestar six piston brakes at the front and then you've got a Polestar rebuilt three litre straight six turbocharged engine. It produces 257 kilowatts and 500 newton metres. Inside, the Volvo is obviously a little bit smaller than the Commodore but it's based on the Mondeo, so it's quite large. You've got plenty of leg room and headroom's pretty good as well. With the Polestar, you get these awesome buckety seats with blue stitching that matches the exterior. It's the Polestar blue. You've also got this carbon fibre look trim and then a unique Polestar gear shifter. So this is obviously based on the Holden Commodore. So there's heaps of leg room, heaps of headroom as well. And a fairly uncluttered layout. To show its motorsport pedigree, the HSV also gets a, um, a lap timer, I'll just show you. So you can actually change the different tracks. Um, sand down, there's a fair few tracks in Australia in there. Since we're at Wakefield Park as a part of our good friends at uh, GP Execs Private Track Days, We'll leave it on that and see what see what sort of lap we can do.
So out on the track, the HSV is a quicker car overall. Um, during our, our quick drag race, the HSV had the, had the longer legs every time. Um, but only just, the, the Volvo's not far behind at all. Through the corners, the HSV feels a bit more uh, nimble and it's a bit more agile. It gets rolled around a little bit, whereas the Volvo has a tendency to understeer. Um, of course, you can change the suspension settings to, to try and counter that. But the Volvo is definitely sure-footed. It's very safe. Um, you can plant the throttle from the apex and it will just figure out which wheel needs the most power and just put, yank it around. It's, um, it's really impressive. The HSV on the other hand, uh, it's actually got a lot of grip despite having 570 newton meters and 340 kilowatts. Uh, the rear tyres do very well to contain that power. You can give it a lot uh, from the apex and it, and it will just grip up and just give you that little bit of oversteer and, and, and shoot you out of the corner. Both cars performed really well actually in terms of longevity and just yeah, reliability. Um, I was surprised especially with the brakes. The HS3 brakes didn't really overheat the whole day. Um, the Volvos did overheat when you pulled into the pits after a, a decent stint. Um, there was a bit of smoke coming out of them, but they, they performed well the whole time. So the pedal just drops a little bit, but you still got that really strong bite when you're at the end of the main straight. You can happily drive either of these cars to the track and then drive them back, enjoy the track and then drive them back home again. In terms of outright excitement, I think the HSV has just got the edge. Um, it's rear wheel drive of course, so you, you've got a bit more play with the steering. You can steer the car with the back wheels. Um, you can throw the Volvo around a fair bit too. I was, I was surprised, um, the more you push it, it seems to respond better and better. Um, you can really get aggressive with it and throw it into the corners and it'll, um, It'll hook up and then you just hit the power and then it will, it, the four-wheel drive system will just sort it all out for you. It's a Polestar optimised Haldex four-wheel drive system. So it has been tweaked uh, compared with the regular S60 T6. The Volvo is definitely better on petrol even after a similar amount of laps in both cars. Um, this is saying 13.4 at the moment. It's slowly gradually going back down as we as we go back onto the highway. But out on the out in the city or on the highway, it was reading 10.4 before I got in. So, um, whereas that's it's chewed a tank and more in the whole day easily. But of course, you get the, the excitement of the V8, and you also have to take into account the HSV is about 10 to 15 thousand uh, dollars more affordable than this car. So um, that's kind of offsetting the, the cost as well. They both look pretty good. I mean, when we pulled into the track, a lot of people were looking at both of the cars equally. Um, the Senate has always been the, the sort of cool and suave HSV, and I guess that's what the Volvo is as well. It's sort of something a bit different. Uh, it's hard to come up with a verdict for these two cars. Uh, they're both unique in their own way. Uh, if you like muscle cars, and you like rear-wheel drive, and you like you know a bit of oversteer, then the HSV is the car for you. Um, if you like a bit more refinement, uh, fuel economy and of course all-wheel drive grip, uh, the Volvo is the car for you. They're both very good in their own way. For more information on these two cars though, head over to performancedrive.com.au. Thanks for watching.